Hello, my name is Danny Crumno, and I've been a metal detector for many, many years. And uh, as you know, we find old coins. Well, uh, when you find these old coins, it always comes the problem of how do you tell the date on them, and they're all corroded and eat up. Well. The only way that I found that you can actually clean them is electrolysis. And I'm going to show you how to do electrolysis here if my cat will stay down on the floor. Uh, I've only done electrolysis now on silver a couple of times. And that's, you don't want to do it on silver if you don't have to. Uh, I found some silver coins that was burned in a fire and had plastic melted all around them. You couldn't even hardly tell it was a coin. I did that on the silver and it come out perfect. Most of the time you're going to be dealing with old wheat pennies, uh, old uh, nickels and things like that. And dealing with those uh, they're generally not worth anything you know especially if you can't even read the date I'm gonna let her get close in on these uh, these are four wheat pennies that I found today and I don't know if you can tell but there's no way you can read the date on them so we're gonna do electrolysis on them so here's what you got to have to do electrolysis. If you'll span out just a little bit. First of all, you just need a little cup of water and get all the mud and stuff off of them that you can. Just dip them in there with your fingers, rub them good and hard, and try to get that mud and crud off you can. You can scratch some of it off with your fingernails. Now, you're not going to hurt these coins by cleaning them. They said, don't clean your coins, it's going to ruin the value. Well, technically, any metal detected coins are not worth anything anyhow. So, especially if you can't even read the date. So, what we've got here, I used first the water to get the mud off of them. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of electrical device. Now, my friend uh, Jerry Case made this one for me, but you can make one out of a cell phone charger, you can make one out of a uh, six volt battery charger, uh, all kinds of things. All you need to do is be able to plug it in and have a negative and a positive uh, clamp and it's going to eat your clamps up uh, they're rusty and all that but that's all you need is that electrical device now I would if I if this one ever wears out or whatever I'll get one of the uh, like a, a six volt battery charger and use that but for right now I'm going to use my old tried and true here so the next thing you're going to have to have is just a plastic deal. And it don't have to be plastic, a plain ordinary water. Now, the next thing is you put a little salt in here. It doesn't take just a whole lot, but put you some salt in there. The next thing is an old spoon. Now, this old spoon is going to be ruined eventually. You want to stir up that salt, just like I'm doing here. Get it all dissolved. It don't take a whole lot, but you know you need a little salt. Okay, the next thing. And I'm going to admit to you right now, I don't even remember if the negative goes to the spoon or the positive goes to the coin. I just don't remember. I'm going to see if I can pick out whichever is the worst coin here. 
I believe this one is. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to try the negative to the spoon. And we're going to lay that in there just like that. And we're going to try the positive to the coin. Try not to clamp it over right where the date is. All right. All we got to do is turn the electricity on and dip it in there. Now, if she can get close up, can you see that? That spoon is bubbling right there. That means that I've got this wrong. Okay. I'm going to have to put the positive to the spoon and the negative to the coin. Now, we're going to put it back in there, turn the electricity on. Now, do you see that all that bubbles coming up from that coin there? That means it's in there correctly. And you're going to see some old green or brown slime come up from it. I'm not seeing much right now, but I am seeing some. At times when you do these coins, you will have so much scum come up that you won't be able to even see the coin. Now, while we're waiting on this to clean, you see this stuff here? Don't waste your money. If your coin's clean, this will work. But the problem is that this won't get that scum off of there. You're going to have to either scratch it with your fingernails or you're going to have to use this electrolysis. Do you see how that water is turning? It's, all, it's not clear anymore. And it helps to shake it around. I can see little pieces coming off of that already. And these chargers usually don't put out enough electricity. If you can't really shock yourself unless you do something stupid. But you see that water turning? It's turning fast. Eventually, if you have a bad enough coin, you will get... Uh, uh, just a brown scum completely covering the water. See when I shake it how it comes off of there? And remember, your coin has to bubble. It cannot be the spoon. I usually try to use a stainless steel spoon, but I don't think it really matters. what kind of spoon it is. Just remember, your coin has the bubble, not the spoon. Or you could use a fart for that matter. Do you see how that's turning right there? That is getting all that junk off of that coin. Now you don't want to leave these too long. Let's take it and look at it here. I'm going to turn the light on. It's still got a lot of stuff on it there. The back's pretty good. Let's, let's do it a little longer. I'm going to give you a little extra light there. That water was completely clear. And this quickly, it's got all that stuff off of that coin. We see that scum that's forming. And sometimes you need to back off your spoon. Uh, 
it needs to bubble. If you get too close to it, I think it shorts out or does something. But anyhow, there's no way that you would have been able to read the date. You see all that scum that's coming off this coin. It's bubbling good. I must put in just the right amount of salt. And let's take it out. This one was pretty toasted. It's still got a bunch on there. We're going to leave it in a little longer. You see that scum that's coming up there? That's all off this coin. And I know you're going to hear, oh, you shouldn't clean coins. Well, what good are they if they're so crapped up that you can't even see the date? You want to know what year these things were. This is how you do it. Call elect electrolysis. There was a big chunk that just came off right there. Another one. I don't know if you can tell, but in the bottom there, you can see all those big chunks of crap that came off of this coin. I don't even know what year this is. I know it's got to be before 57, more than likely this is going to be from the 1930s. It's going to be close to 100 years old. You see that scum that's all around there? Alright, let's see what we got now. I still got a lot of stuff on it. Okay, we should be able to read the date. You see, when I'm wiping that, that stuff is kind of soft. Alright, my eyes are not what they used to be. So, that is going to be a 1929 wheat penny. And it was so bad that you couldn't even tell what it was. See the weed on the back? And it could still use a little bit cleaning, but anyhow, that, my friends, is how you uh, do electrolysis on an old coin. Uh, it works on silver or any of the others, but I don't recommend you use it on silver unless you got one that's stuff like melted plastic or something you just cannot get off the silver don't use it on silver but if it's copper and old wheat penny or something this is how you do it now look this was just one coin can you imagine time I do all four of these and if she can get in with this that's the difference it made right there just in a few seconds that we've been here so we'll end this uh, hope I help some of the metal detectors out there we're all kind of stupid because we spend thousands of dollars to, sp to buy uh, fine pennies but it's kind of a sickness and some of us have it so if you want to clean your coins, that's how you do it. Real simple. Thanks for watching.